While loops are all about allowing for sequences of pseudocode to be repeated while a Boolean expression is true. So to better understand this, let's revise if statements really quickly. There's the if keyword highlighted. We're gonna step through the lines again. So one is assigned to X, zero is assigned to total. We're checking the Boolean expression, whether X is less than or equal to three. So that's true. We go in and we execute the indented lines of code one at a time. Total gets added to X and reassigned to total. So total goes to one and X gets added to one and reassigned to X. So X goes to two. And then there are no more indented lines of code. So we are done. Now a while loop is very similar. You can see there the only difference in our pseudocode is that we have updated the if keyword to the while keyword. A Boolean expression always follows a while keyword. So let's start at the beginning again. One gets assigned to X, zero gets assigned to total. We reach the Boolean expression. We evaluate it just like how we do in an if statement. We find that it is still true. And we go in and execute the lines of indented code. Total gets updated and X gets updated. But unlike an if statement where it finishes in a while loop, once we've finished executing all of the indented lines of code, we check the Boolean expression again. So the Boolean expression is checked at the beginning of the loop and it gets checked again at the end of all the indented lines of code. So we're gonna check whether X is less than or equal to three and we find that X has changed. So it was originally one, but because of the X plus one goes to X, X has now changed to two. It is still true. So what happens is we go back and re-execute the lines of indented code. So we go back in, total gets updated to three and X gets updated to also three. We reach the end of the indented lines of code again. So we go back up and we reevaluate the Boolean expression. This time X is still less than or equal to three, even though it's changed from two to three, still true. So we go back in, we re-execute those two lines of code. We then check the Boolean expression again. And this time we find that X is four and four is not less than or equal to three. So it's false. But at this point when it is false, we skip the indented block just like we did for the if statements and because there are no more unindented lines of code the pseudocode is complete. Let's just review the final values of x and total. We see that the final value of x is 4 and that it is different to the value that's in the boolean expression and it has to be greater than that value because that's what caused the boolean expression to be false. And let's look at total. Total here is 6. So what this algorithm does is it calculates the sum of the first three positive integers. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3. So that's a very quick overview of while loops.